Hello. So I'm in my bedroom in my warm footy pajamas and I've got a movie going on Hulu that I'm going to pause right now. And um, I've been getting a lot of cleaning done at the house and I came across, I came across this little booklet called How Gratitude Changes Everything. I um, got this from a church called Unity of Dallas. When my mom and dad were living in Dallas and they were staying with me, they went to a, a Unity or a New Thought church. Um, we grew up as, you know, um, non-denominational Christians, but, you know, over the last few years, um, my parents have moved in a slightly different direction, but I picked up this booklet and I've never read it. And as you can see, it is battered. It's been through some things. Um, but I decided that I am going to start reading this with you guys. And whatever uh, positivity it can impart into my life, I want to share it with your lives as well. Um, today has been a rough day. But I am going to end this day on a positive note. As much as I am capable of doing. So, I'm going to start off at the beginning. How gratitude changes everything. And I'm going to, before I continue this, I will say this. There are those of us like me, and I will say that a lot, that have struggles that are beyond just the normal everyday difficulties of life. So if you struggle with mental illness, if you struggle with depression, anxiety, bipolar, uh, things of that nature. And I'm not talking about people with situational depression. I'm not talking about people that are struggling with sadness. There is a difference between sadness or situational depression and having major depressive disorder or having anxiety or having bipolar one or two, there is a difference. And so that needs to be said. And so when you have those chemical imbalances, nothing is ever cut and dry. It's never just a matter of saying, oh, you just have to be more thankful because oftentimes you can have struggles and not have a negative thought cross your mind. And so a lot of times people say things without thought. And I love that scripture in the Bible. And it is growing ever closer to my heart. To be slow to speak. But quick to listen. And uh, I think that especially in the black community. I think especially for women. That we can stand to do a whole lot more listening and asking questions than offering advice. So that's my caveat, but I digress. But it was a needed digression. How gratitude changes everything. Introduction. The great 13th century German mystic Meister Eckhart once said, if the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. Gratitude is a sacred practice, a way of knowing and thanking God. Gratitude lifts our spirits, changes our perspective, and softens our heart. When we are grateful, we are humble. We are awake. We are filled with wonder. Are you guys able to take me seriously while I'm reading this with my uh, monkey pajamas on? <laughs> oh, okay, I just braided my hair today. Uh, anyways, gratitude helps us appreciate what we do have instead of focusing on what we don't have. Have you ever been feeling sorry for yourself? Yes. And then encountered someone far less fortunate? Maybe it was someone who was homeless, penniless, or severely disabled. Suddenly your problem seemed very small and your blessings very big. Perhaps you think gratitude is only possible in times of good fortune. 
On the contrary, gratitude can be a way of life. Unity co-founder Murder Fillmore suggested being thankful even in the midst of hardship. If you are experiencing difficulty, she advised, be grateful in advance for the good you know will come of this. And that reminds me of the scripture that God will work in all things for the good of those that love him and have been called according to his purpose. Our faith can be so sure, so unwavering, that even when we're in pain, we know good will come from it. Good can come from it. A bold little book called Thank God I illustrates just how persuasive gratitude can be. It is an anthology of inspiring stories from people who have had some of the worst things in life happen to them, but who later came to see their misfortune as a blessing. We read how a woman who had herpes learned to take such good care of her body that she was able to conceive and give birth to a healthy child, something the doctors had said was impossible. We learn about a convicted felon who used his experience to reinvent himself and go forth to serve others in powerful and meaningful ways. And we hear of a woman who practiced gratitude religiously to help heal herself of cancer. One article from that book, Thank God I Lost My Dream Job and Found My Dream, is reprinted in this booklet. You can find other inspiring stories at www.thankgodi.com. This booklet also includes gratitude prayers from other faith traditions and a place to begin your own gratitude list. You'll find tools, tips, and insights for developing an attitude of gratitude. Gratitude changes everything. Most of all, it changes us. When we count our blessings, we see them multiply. We remember that life is beautiful, that God is good, and that all is well. May this little booklet help you live in gratitude knowing every day that you are blessed and you are a blessing. Your friend in unity. And there's a lovely picture of a man that looks like he is at White Rock Lake. <laughs> and it very well could be because again, this is uh, uh, from a unity church here, but it says this was printed. Hmm? I don't know. Maybe. But I'm going to share these with you guys. So I will be back tomorrow um, with The Freedom and Decision for Gratitude by Jesse F. Tanner, Ph.D. So I'm going to leave you guys with a prayer. And uh, thank you for taking this time to visit with me. Father God, I thank you for tonight. I thank you for a spirit of gratitude, even in lack. I thank you, Father God, that there is nothing... Father God, greater than the sacrifice of your son, Jesus Christ, on the cross for our healing and for the remission of our sins, Father God. I thank you, Father God, right now in the most challenging and difficult of circumstances, Father God, that you never leave me, that you never forsake me, that you are always with me, that you are Emmanuel, you are God with us. So, Lord, right now, I pray over anyone that's watching. I pray right now, Father God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that you would touch, that you would heal, that you would deliver, that you would set free, and that you would help us to have grateful hearts. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 10 says, Father God, to give thanks in all things. Not for all things, but to give thanks in all things. And as we are embarking upon this thanksgiving season may it just not be confined to a day but may it be a lifestyle that we entertain that we entertain with grateful hearts to you father god lord i love you i honor you i bless you and i glorify your name and i thank you for the gift of today in jesus name amen okay guys bye